so the android ecosystem has been there for years now and we have seen so much from funny looking icons and features to the latest material design based icons and some great refinements over the years and in this video let's check out some of the tricks that you might not know or might have overlooked during all these years so if this is your first time on this channel hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay notified about the latest videos so the first one if you use a gmail app and have multiple accounts it's easy to switch between those simply drag the name icon on the top right corner in a top to bottom fashion to switch to next account it's simple and saves a lot of time if you have several accounts if you wish to back up your full device with all the apps and other data like messages just go to settings now click on google here go to the backup option now click on backup now Using this option, you can back up everything on your device in your Google Drive. For example, messages, settings, call logs, and the apps. All of these with just one click, which makes it a handy feature to have, especially if you use custom rooms or in case you lose your device and want everything back. So the new Google Assistant now comes with an ambient mode, which is now added to quite a few devices. You can simply activate that and get an always on screen with time and notifications. while your phone is being charged it is very handy feature to have and here is an in-depth video on how you can get the same on a device coming to the fourth one if you like to read books on a device and want a kindle like experience so you can turn your screen to black and white simply by going to settings now click on developer options choose the simulate color space option from the list and now choose the monochromacy option from the sub list so this will turn your screen to black and white and you can have a pleasant reading experience So the fifth and last one. So all of us have been through situations where we had to give our device to someone so that they can have a look at a particular info for a moment, and they end up looking out everything. Or at some places where you want to have a particular screen fixed. So for scenarios like these, you can use screen pinning option in Android. So what this does is it locks your device to a particular screen, and it's there until someone unpins it or until your work is done. It comes in handy at such scenarios. So you can turn it on by going to settings. Now going to security and choose the screen pinning option and turn it on. So you can turn it on by pressing the back button and recent key simultaneously. This will lock your display to a particular screen. So these were some tricks that might come in handy for day to day usage. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.